Hey everyone, how are you? I missed you guys yesterday, um, <clears throat> but I'm going to start your reading. I'm going to do a short reading today because, well, this particular reading, I've uh, got another one for you guys. It is um, going to be uh, messages from your galactic family. So if you guys are interested in that, please look for that. Um, we're going to, you know, look at your soul um, long before it came here and stuff like that. And you, like your um, your actual galactic family. So, um, but this particular reading is just a short message. Um, so if you're drawn to this, um, this is collective. So this is not personal reading. I know that I've had some uh, people that have made comments um, about particular messages, you know, the whole thing not resonating, and that's okay um, because it, it's not personal. The whole thing may not resonate. So if you you confused or you say like things like I don't know where that came from, it's just n not that um, that particular message wasn't meant for you. So if you don't know where it came from, it just means that it was for someone else and that's okay. Um, so just take the messages that do resonate um, and then leave what doesn't for someone else. Um, and if you are interested in something that is more personal for you, uh, you can always get a personal reading, but um, I just don't want anyone to to get upset um, with me or um, feel confused because that's I'd love, the last thing I want for you to do is to walk away from a reading feeling confused. So um, that's why in collective readings, the readers will say, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You're going to leave what doesn't for someone else. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I will be pulling a prophecy card uh, for the collective as well as choosing someone, uh, which I haven't done, but I'm going to choose them uh, once we get to the end. Um, so if you guys want to stick around for the end to uh, do the prophecy card for the collective and then to see who gets chosen. Uh, first, um, and also, of course, if you subscribe and you're liking the videos and you comment, you could potentially win a free 15 minute reading giveaway. I've actually been able to do two of those so far. I did one in February and I'm gonna do, I did one in January. I'm gonna do another one uh, for February. So um, that's really exciting. Um, and I can't wait to do another one. So, and I just wanna thank everyone so much for your, um, already your support of my channel our channel um, by subscribing and the likes and the comments and um, those of you who have sent tips and donations um, and bought me cups of coffee I greatly appreciate that um, like I literally uh, I'm, I'm a very emotional person um, I have a lot of water in my chart so um, it really touches my heart uh, when I get um, those tips because you don't have to do that. And uh, I just want you to know that uh, I tear up every time one of them comes in. And sometimes there's no way for me to like uh, get in touch with you um, to thank you. So um, I just want to say that here that I'm so very grateful and thankful to you. So. Okay, um, if you'd like, you could go ahead and visualize a healing light surrounding you full of unconditional love, and you can um, breathe that in if you like, and um, and then just ask your spirit guides, even if you've never spoken to them before, you can ask God, the universe, your angels, you can ask your ancestors if you wish to connect with you and communicate with you through this reading to bring you messages that you need to hear that are of your highest good. Thank you, divine source energy, divine loving Holy Spirit. Thank you, angels, archangels, ascended masters, ancestors, spirit guides, higher light beings. 
For the good of all and to the harm of none, I call upon you now and invite you here into this space to help me grasp messages and answers that need to be delivered. I thank you for protecting myself and everyone involved in this reading, allowing everyone to feel safe and loved. Thank you for enlightening the decks of cards that I use here today with clear and easy to understand answers and messages. Thank you for enlightening all of the decks of cards that I use here today and using them as tools to communicate, to bring forth clarity, insight, guidance from the divine. Thank you for honest, accurate, trustworthy answers and messages that are only of the highest good and to the harm of none. And thank you for the accuracy on my part as well. With peace, love, light, and gratitude, so it is. Namaste. I did forget to say, hi everyone, I'm Winter. Um, and I have certain skills and abilities that I use. I'm claircognizant, clairvoyant, clairaudient, and clairsentient. Some of those are stronger than the others. And I use those as well as my knowledge of the cards to channel messages from spirit for you. So we're going to start out with this Oracle deck here. And um, then I'm going to clarify those. Some of you may want to like, um, there's something about taking something too seriously I, I'm picking up. So you may um, have been like in serious mode lately and just need time to, to just laugh um, and play and be silly. Because um, I am sensing that there's uh, not been a whole lot of laughter I don't know maybe put on like a comedy or like just um, act like a child you know for a little bit in a good way you know like um, uh, embrace the the um, the energies of childhood or maybe even need to really connect with your inner child Thank you, spirit angels. So this deck is already shuffled up, good guys. So I'm just going to leave it at the shuffling that I just did and go ahead and start. Those that are here now, spirit, what do they need to know? Okay. I don't know why spirit is telling me to say Aquarius, but that's what I'm hearing. And we've got some cancer energy here too, possibly Pisces, Scorpio, um... But the card that came out is confidence. Um, so there could be this need to really build this the confidence in yourself, believing in yourself right now. Um, being confident that you already have uh, one. You know, in the 5D, whatever it is that you've wanted to resolve, it's already been resolved, already been squashed. Whatever it is that you are worried about right now, it's already taken care of. There is no time and space between us, which is how I'm able to read for you in the be to begin with. So if there's no time and space, then that means everything already done. You already won. So there's no need to stress or worry about it. Trust um, in yourself and the fact that you have already overcome 100% of your worst days. Already, like, think about it. Think about it. Like, however old you are, you're old enough here to be, like, um, watching uh, YouTube, right? And understanding what I'm saying. So you're, um, think about all those days all those moments you know those are that's a lot of lot of days no matter how old you are and you have um overcome each and every one of your worst days and so um how far you've already come this is spirit is saying to be confident in the fact that you already overcome so much and in the 5d you know uh you've already overcome everything else that you've yet to physically experience here 
It's like a movie, right? That movie's already made, but when you're watching it, you're only experiencing it one frame at a time, but it doesn't mean that it the ending doesn't exist. The ending's already there. You're just but you're just experiencing it one frame at a time. And that's like with reality, with the 3D reality is it's already there. It's already done. You're just experiencing it one frame at a time. So there's no need to be scared. Um, you've already won. You've already accomplished everything. So being confident and knowing that and being able to believe in yourself and know. Um, so a lot of you could have water in your chart. Maybe you're dealing with water energy. Um or you're like very connected to the water in some form or fashion. Maybe you enjoy being around the water. I'm getting to someone that enjoys the rain. Like you are very, you're calmed and comforted, comforted <laughs> when it storms. I'm only happy when it rains. I don't know if that song just came up. And we got diligence. Okay, so you could be procrastinating. I'm also getting to someone that keeps putting off making a doctor's appointment. Um, so spirits like quit putting something off here. Um, uh, be uh, conscientious. Okay, stop putting off tomorrow what you could do today. Okay, um, follow through this kind of follow through maybe you've been procrastinating guilty i got laundry that needs to get done so maybe some of you've got some laundry that you need to catch up on too since i felt um spirit was showing me my laundry so um that could be the case for some of you as well um or it's like you um uh, need to it's like when you say you're going to do something, Spirit is telling you to make sure that you're doing it, you know, that you follow through with the plans or the task at hand. Some of you have been saying um, that you're going to leave. This is not for everyone, but you've been saying you were going to leave a particular partner and you haven't left that partner yet. Um... Let's see, what else? What do they need to know, Spirit? What do they what do they need to show, Spirit? What do they need to show? What do they need to show? Okay. Contentment. So knowing that now this contentment could be different for everyone. Again, I've got some cancer energy here. Um Um, but this is like being, um, being complete and happy with the way things are now, like quit saying, I'll be happy when this happens, or I'll be happy when I reach this point, or I'll be happy when I get that. Cause for me, like one of the things that I say is, um, is with my cards, like, cause this is collective reading. So I'm included in on this too, cause I, um, I forgot to detach my energy from this reading. So I'm I'm a part of it too. Um but um for me spirit is showing me my cards. And so I've got a ton of cards because reading is my life. Like I love it. I love talking to people that do readings. I love, um, uh, watching other readers. I just, um, I'm fascinated with the fact that we can communicate with spirit and with the universe through cards and in any type of divination. And so I'm always like buying new cards. Like that's my obsession. Right. And so I keep thinking, well, I'll be happy and content after I buy this next stack of cards. I won't, you know, I'll be happy then. So some of you could be like doing that as far as like in a phase of your life. Like I'll be happy when this happens or we'll, we'll, we'll finally be able to be happy when that happens or when we have this or that or, you know, like I'll be able to. So, but spirit is like, no, be happy now. Be in this place of, of satisfaction and feeling at peace now, a sense of fulfillment, show Knowing your gratitude, um, uh, knowing that life is good now, enough is as good as a feast, it says. Legacy um, just tried to come out. So it's, um, 
something of value that persists beyond the creator, you uh, could be also building a legacy. What do they need to grow, Spirit? And that was the next question was what you need to grow. You could be building a legacy or leaving behind a legacy or growing your legacy. What do they need to... Or actually, so sorry, Spirit. Another card for show. What do they need to show, Spirit? Oh, too many cards. You need to grow discipline to one of the things here because there's two cards stuck together that was. Um, but... Uh, maybe even growing a routine, being like persistent um, with the the routine that you're building. Um, um, you need to also like um, grow like um, your um, efforts. Um, like something here that maybe you've been putting off, you need to be more... Uh, disciplined and diligent. Thank you, Spirit. Some of you, this could be with regards to weight loss is something that I just heard too, your diet. Um, you said you were going to quit smoking. You know who I'm talking to. Um, but you haven't yet. You keep putting it all. Uh, oh, I don't know who I'm talking to, but you know who I'm talking to. And then look, discipline is the card that came out. So it's like um, you need to show your discipline, building that routine, being content with the way things are, happy with where things are, but um, continuing to put in the effort, you know, setting up a routine, disciplining yourself, um, um, practice, 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 maybe studying, Building, um, setting a um, a schedule each day. Routine which facilitates development of abilities. Cultivation through effort. What do they need to grow, Spirit? Those that... We're drawn here, Spirit. What do they need to grow? Oh, way too many cards. You may need to um, grow a support team, either for yourself or, like, um, uh, others. Um, taking ownership over um, your actions, your words. Figure, you know, kind of like um, figuring out uh, like the the parts that you've played in certain situations and having realizations about that. Okay. Eloquence. Okay, so what you need to grow here is eloquence. So um, this is you must answer the devil in his own language. Okay, um, um, being having like uh, graceful communication, right? Um, uh, really watching what you say um, and. being um being able to stand up for yourself right without many of you are already doing this but being able to um answer someone um and stand up for yourself um in a very eloquent way being it being graceful okay speaking and writing um being very um, fluent or persuasive in your communication without being forceful in um, and then we've got solidity I can never pronounce that so hopefully you guys know what I mean this is about fortitude strength okay making um, being of substant character, very eloquent, growing um, uh, and nurturing that eloquent nature within yourself, being a person of subst of, of substance, okay? Being um, 
able this kind of just really reminds me these two cards together just really um, embody the strength card is what I'm seeing too um, and it's like being able to win someone over in a very calm and um, compassionate um, nature you know without being forceful without using brute force I, I'm really seeing like a, a like spirit showing me like this like a southern woman saying oh bless your heart you know like that kind of very eloquent strong you know type of demure energy without um without the judgments um being um compassionate and um, overcoming self-doubt. Yeah, and then we've got the, com like this whole section right here just really is screaming the strength card. Some of you have really dealt with someone that has been very childish too. And so you've had to kind of, um, rate, you know, put yourself a above someone's childish behavior like look at the look doesn't she embody like the that uh, uh woman that i was just trying to ex um hopefully was explaining clarify confidence spirit yeah um so the hermit represents here like that whole energy of what I was saying that you have overcome, you know, all your worst days. Um, and how, like, you know, I was explaining that no matter what your age are, all those days, if you add them up, the amount of days that you've been alive, like those are a lot of days. So it's like you, um, taking confident and knowing, you know, being wise here and wise beyond your years too. Um, believe having that um, uh, fortitude that truth okay this is the energy of truth and and trusting in yourself trusting in um, the those divine uh, in the uh, inspirations that maybe you're receiving from from spirit this is certainty and knowing you know um, that you are this master having answers the your confidence because this uh the hermit seeks answers so it's like the confidence is your answer it is the key uh spirit and taking time to um, do some soul searching to find that confidence within yourself. Maybe some of you actually have um, been spending a lot of time alone too. I'm getting that like, you know, just kind of pulled away um, and doing a lot of soul searching. Um, spiritual gain confidence to being the key for your spiritual enlightenment you know a lot of you um taking time to contemplate your existence and um being confident in the the choices that you make on your spiritual journey um is is another thing that i'm seeing so sorry guys i just i should have brought my water up here um You know, the, there could be this need to, uh, now the hermit doesn't necessarily mean moderation, but that's another thing that I'm picking up on though. Um, like having the confidence to understand your beliefs, and, but also like um, uh, being, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like not being cocky what's the exaggerated word of confident 
I'm not overconfident. Well, I mean, yeah, without being overconfident, but there's another word. But it's like I'm seeing truth, like seeing the truth within yourself. You know, um, having the confidence to, you know, pull away from the crowd, pull away from other people to find your truth. You know, ha believing in yourself enough that um, that you're able to pull away from the collective or from friends, family members, or just the group to um, focus on yourself. Having confidence in like your psychic development as well. Um, having, uh, having confidence in your connection with your spirit guides. Having confidence in your spiritual growth. You know, having that, again, having that confidence to um, seek solitude. Um, fo you know, if you've been really focusing on evolving your spiritual side, um, having that confidence in what your inner voice is telling you. And it's like, because that confidence is the key. And it's going to take you to a whole nother spiritual level. <clears throat> Spirit, can you clarify diligence, please? The tower. So like, you know, following through. Okay, um, uh, this is, it's like time for a reality check. Here's what I'm seeing. It's like, this is careful um, um, being conscientious and careful attention and follow through here. This is investigation, willpower. This is like, um, this, what I'm feeling with the tower here, it's like, um, well, for one thing, I'm seeing a, I don't, this doesn't really have much to do with the diligence. I don't feel just yet, but what I'm seeing is reality shifts. Uh, but I'm also seeing like a, um, you guys, like the tower also represents change. Okay. So like, um, I'm seeing like there needs to be a huge change, um, and having some massive realizations about, um, your due diligence. Don't put off to, um, for tomorrow what you can do today because you never know what tomorrow will bring. Always expect the unexpected and be diligent. Release any kind of fears, doubts that postpone you. Maybe you, um, some of you, um, get in your head and you overthink and you postpone things and you overthink things and spirits like look you just need to completely deconstruct everything about your about your life um be prepared Be diligent on building stronger foundations for yourself. I, I feel like there's like, because there could be a lot of stress and uncertainty that causes you maybe to kind of put things off as well. And so there's this need to be diligent, be focused, be driven, and, and not allow like that... Um, um, any kind of uh, inner turmoil 
um, or those stresses or uncertainties um, uh, to keep you um, stuck from having that follow through. Why is contentment here, spirit? Whoa, look. The three of swords flew out. You know, being optimistic, releasing any kind of of uh, pain and sorrow. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra there with the um, three of swords there. Um, you know, because there has been pain, there has been losses, and and maybe you've been um, focused on um, what you don't have. Focusing too much on, on the pain, on heartbreaks, um, those clouds, and being content where you have, where you are, no matter what losses that you've had, you've suffered. Why is, uh, why is discipline here, spirit? Oh, the emperor, that is the king of, di of discipline right there. That is the king of discipline, building a routine, structure. This is really, um, and then the king of swords. You may even need to like um, uh, keep your thoughts disciplined. Um, some of you could deal with like racing thoughts or like your thoughts maybe get the better of you sometime, sometimes. And so you may have to just be very diligent with um, uh, keeping structure to your thoughts. But the emperor, I'm going to tell you what, he is, that's like the king of discipline right there. Um, and just building a, a structure in your life, being very practical. You know, so, um, sometimes um, this energy, the emperor energy can be a bit rigid, rigid and stubborn. But I feel like right now, this, since this is what Spirit's telling you to do, be stubborn right now. Don't stop. Don't let anyone change your mind right now. Don't allow your mind to be changed when the wind blows. Stay diligent. You know, because when the, with the tower here, you know, even during your darkest days, um, even when life seems to just come in and, and, you know, tear everything down, stay disciplined, you know, stay, stay diligent, Con continue focusing, continue moving forward, no matter what. Otherwise, like I said, any storm can come through, any wind can come in and just you know, take you out, blow you off course, knock you off your feet. So staying dis disciplined right now, stay stubborn right now. Consider the task at hand and don't give up. Keep your expectations high right now. Grow your expectations. Don't um, expect that you should settle for less, but at the same time, be content and happy with what you've got. Oh, because if so, you will be able to turn or make your ideas well y yes take take your ideas and turn them into a dream come true. Turn your dreams into reality. Why is eloquence here, spirit? And she did it. He did it so eloquently. Why is eloquence here? Okay, so we got two cards. Um, and we've got the um, Knight of Swords, which is a, a card of communication. And the um uh, which it would be like um uh this is speaking 
and the eight of wands this is writing okay so it's like be fluent be persuasive don't give up but don't be forceful either being eloquent in your writing or sorry your writing and your speaking communication allow that to be graceful flow like you are on a whole another level speak what you want to manifest what you want speak clearly honestly fearlessly about what it is that you want to manifest whatever it is that you want right now speak it write it Why is solidity here, spirit? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Why is solid, 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 solidity, so, oh, solidity? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Why is this card here, spirit? I am, why is this solidity? I'm going to pronounce it that way. Spirit doesn't need the correct pronunciation. Spirit knows. Why is this card here, Spirit? I'll take that one. Says, look, the King of Wands. If you build it, they will come. The King of Wands is passionate. He is courageous. He's a leader. Okay, you follow. Look, and with the with the lovers here on the bottom of the deck. Okay, this, sorry, I had to cover that up. This is um, uh, following the desires of, of his heart, male or woman. It doesn't matter. I'm saying him because the, the, it's a masculine energy, meaning um, uh, uh, putting it out there, going forward. It's the thrust while the feminine energy is the receiving energy, uh, receiving abundance, receiving um uh, what it is that you put that effort into the king of wands right now this is you building it you putting the work out there you build it and they will come right you building what you want and they will come you have a dream you have a goal you want a uh, say you want to be a youtuber so you build your channel and they will come whatever it is that you're like if you're um you want a, a particular job, you know, dress to impress and you'll get the job. You want, a, you know, it's like you act in the way in which um, it is that you're want. Okay, let me see. All right. So it's like you are going to act as if you already have it. You build it, they will come. This is you being and taking on that character playing the role of the life that it is that you want so um speak it say it be it oh my god is that not um do you guys ever watch um family guy oh my god remember he wrote that book think it say it want it be it or something like that doesn't that sound just like him but i'm serious like i just channeled brian from family guy you guys oh my god if y'all know what that is y'all are so cool think it's but but i'm but i'm being serious though this is so true like seriously you know it's like think it say it write it be it say it write it be it that's it right there like that's what spirit is doing oh my god like that it's crazy that i know that's hilarious i'm gonna laugh so hard when i get off of here because that is so funny that spirit would give me that but that's true like it is so serious it's like that simple guys and family guy feel like they were making a joke out of it to you know get people to not realize that it is that that is simple it is that simple it is that silly it was hilarious episode but it is that that simple it is that easy to get whatever it is that you want and so family guy you know because they're making it they're making a joke about it but um because like i said they just they want you to laugh at it because they want you to think that it's ridiculous because they don't want you to realize that it is that easy to make your dreams come true, especially for you guys at this time. If you were drawn here, that's fabulous. 
Okay, so I'm gonna pull, um, get this other deck here and pull a few more cards, and then I'm gonna let you guys go. And I'll be back um, a little later with the messages. Um, it's, uh, I will have the other one to you guys within the next 12 to 24 hours. So look for that. Um, uh, I want to get it up sooner. Oh, yeah. And I got to do the um, prophecy card for you guys. One. Can I get one more card? Can I get one card from this deck, Spirit? Okay. Well, we got two. It's a Bruin and the Devil. So this is like, look. You must answer the devil in his own language. This is what you're going to be doing. Okay. But this is you like releasing yourself from the grip of the devil, the power of the devil, knowing that you are more powerful than, than any devil, than, you know, than any of these devils, than any of these toxic energies, you are able to release yourself from the confinement of your own inner demons, right? You being confident because you are this warrior spirit. You are the warrior. You're able to overcome. You're able to stand your ground, okay? Unlock the warrior within to help you conquer any obstacle, to help you conquer the devil, the inner demons within you, okay? That keeps you from creating what it is that you want for your life, that you are headed towards here, creating this life of abundance. We also, again, I've got solitude on the bottom of the deck, but then we've got it's brewing. Something special is brewing. It will flow naturally and beautifully. This transition will be smooth and painless. So this is what you're, um, uh, what you're going through now. All right, and then we've got solitude on the bottom of the deck. Look at your life with a deeper, more spiritual understanding to help you get your priorities straight. And that's what I, what we started with here. You know, knowing that confidence is the key to, to all of that. It starts first with your confidence here. And you see how we went through this process and spirit saying, is there something special brewing? And it all starts with the key of your confidence here. And this transition is, is going to be smooth and painless as long as you focus on being content and happy where you are. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to do the prophecy card. Can I have a prophecy spirit? Give me one prophecy here for the collective. I do want to say that I feel spirit is saying for you guys to be open to new opportunities. Okay. Yep. New possibilities. New doors opening. Just don't shut yourself off to all these new possibilities. And then... We have, you will soon embark upon a creative project that will enrich your life and benefit you in prosperous ways here. And you can start that by being in this place. Think it, write it, be it. Okay. And by being in that, that's what you're doing. You're um, uh, able to have this whatever this is that's brewing in the background for you now whatever it is that's bubbling up uh you know it's like that uh, uh a watched pot never boils so just kind of step take a step back and let it start to boil um don't keep checking on it and let it do its thing in the meanwhile you just act as if supper's already ready okay and get your plate ready because I know you hungry and you about to eat. Okay, so I'm just going to look. Um, let me see. I'm going to check to see who the winner is for the pick a card. Um, I'm just going to look, guys. Just bear with me for one quick second. I'm still looking. All 
Okay, Brandy Lynn was the first one that I looked. Brandy Lynn, Spirit, Divine Holy Spirit, Angels, Archangels, Ascendant Masters, Spirit Guides, and Higher Light Beings. Can you please give me one card for Brandy Lynn? The person known as Brandy Lynn. What? Okay. Brandy, you have, you will soon connect with new individuals and receive recognition for your abilities and talents. Sweetie, that's so good. So this is like somebody new that is going to, um, is going to recognize you in some form or fashion. This could be like online. This could be at work. This could be um, with regards to like um, what you're doing at home or with your children or some sort of gift or um, like spiritual gift or ability that maybe you have. But um, this is what I have for you guys. And I will see you later. Namaste.